Francisco, as we speak, Bitcoin bakes down. Brad, maybe we've got an interday chart of Bitcoin to help us out here. Uh, we've had people on uh, Bloomberg talking up Bitcoin, its stability. Francisco, I want to cut to the chase. A grizzled pro like you, is Bitcoin linked to gold? Is there a compare and contrast, a correlation, a relationship of Bitcoin to gold? Okay, so let me let me cut to the chase. You know, I, I put a pretty pretty negative uh, piece on Bitcoin back in March entitled "Bitcoin's Dirty Little Secrets," where I argued uh, that uh, Bitcoin had serious environmental issues, and uh, obviously uh, there was a big U-turn in China Tesla, agrees which, uh, with you, and China agrees with us too, as well, of course, because they they are burning a huge amount of coal to produce those those Bitcoin to mine those Bitcoin. Um, this is my take on Bitcoin. Bitcoin, uh, it was completely uncorrelated uh, to other asset classes. Uh, it became more of a risk asset in the past 12 months. It was highly correlated to equities, to Mexican peso, uh, to copper. Um, and, and gold is a safe asset. It's typically correlated to 10-year treasuries, uh, to Japanese yen. So uh, to your question, are Bitcoin and, and, and um, uh, gold linked? Uh, in a way, they are, because one is a risk asset, the other one is a safe asset. So, so they're, they're very different characteristics. Now, what is going to be the long run uh, story for Bitcoin? I don't know. Uh, what I know now is that it's a risk asset and gold's a safe asset. Um, and gold's been a safe asset for a very, very long period of time. So I'm pretty confident gold stays a safe asset. Bitcoin could, could keep changing. But for now, uh, they're inversely correlated, quite inversely correlated. Francisco, honest. you're making such a, such a good point, And I want to finish on this. You can have a risk-on asset and a risk-off asset, both in inflationary environments. So you can be risk-on in an inflationary environment, and the likes of Bitcoin does well, and risk-off in an inflationary environment, and the likes of gold should do well. Is that what you're saying, Francisco? Uh, not, 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 not quite. I guess not quite what I'm saying. I mean, I'm not sure I'm, I, I see Bitcoin as an inflationary asset. Okay. Um, I think I think Bitcoin, uh, if you look at the correlations to five-year, five-year forwards, if you look at correlations to 10-year inflation, if you look at correlations to CPI, there is not much there. I think I think what Bitcoin is, is good uh, for is that it's creating a new ecosystem of value transfer. Um, it's creating a new um, a new economic organization new sort of, uh, based on, on, on the stakeholder economy as opposed to the shareholder economy that we have today. And again, Bitcoin is the base of that built on Ethereum, built on the rest of other coins that are coming behind it. That's what I think is ultimately going to shape up. It's it's basically communities of people that transfer value uh, using these cryptocurrencies, which is why the IRS is so interested in taxing this, because they realize there is a lot of economic activity, real economic activity, not just not just uh, um, uh, criminal gangs. It's also a lot of people that are actually transferring, whether it's uh, you know, music or videos or anything they produce via yeah. the digital asset world. 